Hello everyone, welcome to Ignition. Hello and today we're going to look should you wax oil a brand new 2021 vehicle. Right, so we have this internal inspection camera, so we're going to have a look inside the chassis of this 2021 uh, Fiat Panda 4x4. We are. So this is my brand new vehicle, it's now three days old. It is, it's three days old and we've come across a little issue which we'll be showing of grommets. Um, yes. There's a, there's a grommet on each of the jacking points, this car's got very clear jacking points so there's four exact locations which is great. For Brilliant, it. it's, it's actually, it's the best car we've ever had it to is. jack up, it's, and it's so obvious. Obvious. it's brilliant the rear two jacking points have got sort of rubber grommets on them and the two front ones are missing so there's just holes showing to the inside of the sort of chassis bars in here and we didn't do it but obviously when they PDI'd this um, the dealer must have jacked it up like we have but somehow uh, we're not yeah. sure how they must have something that spins mm. but it's ripped all the under seal off the jacking point yes. and the grommets have disappeared so, so they could just, be inside so yes. but we can't see because we've jacked it up on it no so it's just a little bit of paint now uh, the um, under seal has gone so we're going to remove all the grommets uh, especially on the sides here as well have grommets. a look inside have a look inside see what quality they're like see if they're painted or just bare metal and if they're not we've got some body wax so we we'll show you how to do it but um, we're pretty convinced this vehicle needs it we don't think it's been done so uh, join us as we find out so we've got these are in the main part of the car so we're going to pull these out which isn't very difficult and then what we'll do is that looks bare metal bare metal it looks like primer because the car's got a sort of greeny yellow primer and then there's some very small ones here now if anyone knows what these are for tell me i'm assuming that they're to let they can't be to let water out because these seal so i'm not do you know what they're in no idea so we've got no idea why they're there but we'll pull these out and then we'll show you, we'll lob the camera in and have a look. We have this secondary camera, which you can see knobby. Yep. So we are going, are the lights on? They sure are. They are. So we're going to have a look inside. We'll have a look together. Um, I'm going to record on here so that you can see um, what we see. So I'll insert it in. Okay, so... We've got a painted surface oh, in yes. there. Oh yes, oh cool. It is painted. So it's painted, but it's there's, not. There's a splatter of under seal gone through <laughs> the gap. Oh, so it was under sealed before they put the grommets in. Yeah. That's crap, isn't it? Yeah, back there, what we got? That goes off into the rear suspension. Up the front in the jacking point, what have we got? Same story. So it's all been and what about in the sill? Can you get that's a very tight access in there? In the seal, it's all been primed. So it's all covered in the same green primer as the rest of the car. Um, so it's definitely worth doing the wax sealing, in my opinion. It is. That tells us that a 2021 brand new vehicle is not protected in any shape or form and, and although this is only three days old and it hasn't rained yeah it didn't rain but it's snow it's sandstorm it has sandstorm because we're in yeah. portugal so we've blown the sand off this as we got here this morning mm. with the pressure washer and when we took the grommets out in the main part of the chassis here they were damp yes they're all wet uh, so, so i don't know where the water's so there is moisture in, in there so that is going to have that is going to sit with which is a moisture. shame it's in there yep so we went to our local hardware store and found this this is a gun um, to spray the oil seal and it's also got this flexible piece of tubing so we can put this in the uh, i'm going to call it a chassis um, and spray it all with the oil seal yeah so this that we've got here uh says that it's a protect protection anti-corrosion fireball protection whatever that means mm. for treating cavities in vehicle bodies so our our plan is we've taken all the grommets out so our plan is to spray that way put the grommet back in go to the next one spray working our way to the back 
and on the last one do a 360 degree, put the last grommet in, Bob's your uncle. Bob's our uncle. Oh, that's funny. I mean, how hard can yeah. it be? Yeah, I had that phrase going through my head as well. We've Bob's never we've uncle. never done this nope. before, so it's gonna be very and stupidly we haven't watched anybody doing it, so we're winging this. No, nope. so all I have to do is screw this into the gun, turn it onto that pot, and we should be laughing. And put some air pressure in. And we're laughing. Now, how much air pressure do we need? Very, another very good question. I'm going to read the back of this and we'll be back. It says here, a permanently elastic corrosion protection for the interior preservation and undersealing of beams, sills and interiors. A preventative measure for after treatment on motor vehicles. High creepability with excellent penetration capabilities after drying. It forms a slightly sticky, permeable and self-healing coating temperature resistance up to 180 degrees services to be treated must be clean and free of rust mask off areas that are not to be coated shake well before use and use at three to four bar in a temperature between 20, 15 and 25 degrees and it's 20 degrees here in portugal today so let's crack on i've safety geared myself up we fitted this on it's all nice and clean so the end here would appear to spray out at varying angles and straight so we should get a hopefully a 360 degree coating i've designated myself as the squirter and my illustrious young handsome beast of a colleague will be fitting the grommets as we go along so i think a bit of rag and uh, a grommet and away we go i mean how hard can this be ready yeah <laughs> How much do you put in during? No idea. Let's just gunk it up. <laughs> if it drips out, stop. <laughs> yeah, it's not making much of a mess. All I would say is, some is better than none. Yeah, yeah. Be nice to see what's happening. Should we put the camera in? And have a look? Yeah. You reckon you can see anything? Well, I don't know how much to put in. Till it comes out? Oh no, we don't want that much. Oh, well, it's only a coating, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we don't know how much we've got in, so... Let's have a look, because we can. There you go, look. Oh, cool beans! The light spraying. I think you need a little bit more in there. But it's done quite a nice coating. It has. Hold on, so how much have we got on the back? Not bad. Not bad? No. Gunky old gear. So I think. And a bit more wiggling. Yeah, a little bit more wiggling, a little bit more squirting. Do you want to put the seals in and I'll get bad? No, maybe not. Why is nothing coming out there then? Oh, because it is just pure gunk. I was expecting more of a um, foamy substance. If we look at that, if you wouldn't mind holding that, I'll show the gunk. So it's a very, very fine oil. I was a bit tentative to start with, but now I've probably got half that pot in, but it's only a small car, so I think that's it. So it's a very fine, sort of waxy, oily, smells like W, smells really nice actually, WD-40. So I don't know why car manufacturers don't do that. No. Why would you? I'm assuming they want. For it. Yeah, I'm assuming they want their cars to fall to bits. That's all I can think. I'm cynical, isn't it? But 
The answer to the question is, if you buy yourself a new car, the first thing you should do is invest yourself or pay someone to shove some wax oil in it if you intend keeping it. Now I'm intending on keeping little Peter Panda for, comes with a four year warranty. Uh, longest I've ever owned a vehicle is? Three. Three years. Uh, one, one vehicle, three years. Most of the contract hire ones I managed to dump yeah. before the three years, but I had one E-Class, which I loved. Mm. So I had that for three years, and other than that, cars don't normally last me no. a year. No, they don't, so. I've been lucky like that. So normally I don't keep a car more than a year. Peter Panda is staying. Yes, I hope so. Hopefully um, you don't change your mind. Well. So that's, that's it for this one. We will give you, if you're interested, this is purely about wax oiling. Mm. If you're interested in anything to do with the Panda, we've just bought it, so please subscribe. We're going to thrash it off road. We're gonna give you our first impressions of buying it and what we think of it yes. from an old man's point of view a and a young man's, man's point, point of view. view. A handsome man and a rather, looks like his mum's slightly ugly man. But anyway, <laughs> um, we will leave you to it. Hopefully that helped you. And in my opinion, um, I've never done it before, but if no. ever I buy another car, which is probably gonna be unlikely new, mm. you might, yep, um, we'll we will definitely be squirting some oil in. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you. And it's dead simple, cause I did it. Goodbye. Well,